centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And he told them in verse 13, And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. Why? Because he had great faith. Still Matthew 8, 23, And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him, that is Jesus. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. While we're sitting up worrying, while the disciples were fearful, Jesus was asleep. Mm -hmm. And one reason he could sleep, because he knew that his father was a God who never slumbers, mm -hmm. and he never sleeps. Thank you, Lord. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, mm -hmm. O ye of little faith? Mm -hmm. Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, All right. that even the winds and the sea obey him? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a wonderful Savior. You know, sometimes we waste our time fretting and worrying about what's going to come. Mm -hmm. Jesus already told us, St. John 14, don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We can't have faith and fear at the same time. Either work. we believe God work. or we don't. This won't work. Where is your faith. Right. Now that don't mean being presumptuous. No, no, no. Right. No, we Some people treat COVID like, oh, no. I got faith over fear. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You mean presumptuous. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of men and women of faith that have gone on to glory. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay? Did that mean they didn't have faith? No. No. You got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. You can't go stand in the front of ML King in the middle of it, rather, mm -hmm. and say, I got faith, ain't no car gonna hit me. Yeah. You, you yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So we gotta be wise. Don't be foolish when it comes to our faith. Right. Let's go to Mark 4. Mm -hmm. Verse 35. Mark 4 and 35. But this is a thought-provoking message. Where is your faith? Do you have great faith? Do you have little faith? Or in this instance, no faith. All right. Now that's pitiful. Mm -hmm. Mark 4, 35. And the same day when the even or evening was come, he saith unto them, Jesus saith this now, let us pass over unto the other side. Mm -hmm. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Mm -hmm. And there arose a great storm of wind, mm -hmm. and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Mm -hmm. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, mm -hmm. asleep again on a pillow. Yeah, and they awake him and saith unto him, Master, yeah. carest thou not that we perish? <laughs> they didn't call to mind that Jesus said, let's go over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And if Jesus said, we're going to the other side, 
you were going to get, they were going to get to the other side. I don't care how the storm raged, they were going to get to the other side. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. That's what we need to do with some situations going on right about now. Peace be still. Be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? No faith. Mm. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? But those of us that know Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we know what manner of man he is. Because yes, yes, we've yes. got it here, we not only can read about it, but we live yes, and yes. know and breathe and yes, know yes. what kind of man Jesus is because we know what changes yes, he made yes. in yes. our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mark 9. We know he's real. Some people don't believe Jesus is real. He is. Oh yeah, but he is he real. Is real there was a young man in Mark 9 that he had a dumb and deaf spirit. Yeah, yeah. And the disciples could not cast him out. No. In verse 19, Jesus said, he answered him and said, Oh, faithless, because the disciples want to know why couldn't we cast why them could, out? We could do it, yeah. But he told them this kind goeth not out but by prayer, prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Okay? There are some besetting sins that you got to pray and fast oh, to get rid of. Oh, God. Uh huh. He answered him and said, Oh, faithless generation, oh, my. how long shall I be with you? Oh, how long shall I? Suffer you, bring him unto me. And they brought him unto him. And Jesus asked the Father how long ago it was that it came upon him. He said, of or since in his childhood. He said, of a child. And oftentimes in verse 22, it had cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. I believe anybody that's got a call, a divine call of God on their lives, you can look back and see a time when the devil tried to take you out. Oh, what you talking about? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes more than one time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But Jesus saith unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Believe. Believe. Mm -hmm. And Jesus cast that deaf and dumb. Yeah. Spirit out of him. Yes, okay? But uh, 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 the man really, he asked the Lord. Let's see if that's the one I want where he said, yeah, let's go to verse 24. Mm -hmm. And straightway after Jesus said, if thou canst believe, all mm -hmm. things are possible yeah. to him that believeth. Mm -hmm. And straightway the father of the child cried out, and oh. said with tears, oh. Lord, I believe, oh. help thou mine unbelief. Yep. Yeah. I believe, but I don't believe strongly oh. enough. Oh. So oh. when we're facing situations, mm -hmm. we can let the Lord know, Lord, help my unbelief. Oh. Yeah. You know, I know you're able, but yeah. I'm troubled here. Yeah. Okay, so God, help me here oh. to oh. not let my heart be troubled and neither to let it be afraid. Yeah. Men's hearts are failing them and will fail them for things that are coming upon this oh earth. God, oh God. Let's go to Mark 11. We should not be soon shaken or troubled in mind. You're going to see a lot of things. Oh You're going to hear a lot of things. Oh God. But don't you be shaken and don't let your heart be troubled. Mark 11, verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, 
he came if haply or perhaps he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto him, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Jesus spoke the world into existence. Yeah. He created all things. So when he was hungry, that fig tree was supposed to have had some figs on it. But it had nothing but leaves. You can take that in a sense too. When the Lord looks for fruit in our lives and finds nothing but leaves, a show but no real fruit, no fruit of the Spirit, we're about like that fig tree. Okay? And so we don't want to be like that. Let's no. skip over no. to verse 20. All right. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Oh, Why? Because yeah. Jesus told them I mean, it had to dry up. All right. And Peter, calling to remember, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. Mm. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. All right. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. All right. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, yeah. believe that ye receive them, okay. and ye shall have them. Mm -hmm. There's a caveat to that. Mm -hmm. And when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have all against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Mm, thank you, Holy Ghost. Mm, help us, Lord. We got to realize we've been wrong too. Uh -huh. So we got to be careful how we judge one another. Because some of the very things we're judging, we're guilty of too. Uh -huh. But if ye do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Right. Think about Think about and if we want God to yeah. forgive us, we've got to forgive others. Yeah. Psalm 66, 18 said, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. He won't either. Okay? And iniquity is lawlessness. You're doing what you want to do, the way you want to do it. But we were warned in Matthew 24, I believe 12. Jesus said, because iniquity shall abide. All right. The love of many shall wax cold. Yes, sir. And that's going on right, right now. Right There's now. iniquity in the church. Oh, There's iniquity oh, in the world. Oh, There's oh, iniquity oh, in politics. Oh, Don't want nobody leading them and if we so let you to lead us, we go gonna make you so weak until it doesn't make a difference. Because we're living in the Laodicean times where it's called people ruling. And people don't want you telling them nothing. If they ain't listening, that's it. They're going to do what they want to do. But the way of a transgressor is hard. Word. But I'm not going to fret myself, okay? But if people don't want to be governed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These are perilous times. We're, we're here. We're here. We've been hearing about it. But we're St. Luke 18, 1. Yeah. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to ought always to pray and not to faint. Don't lose heart and give up. Yeah. Saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man, cold hearted person. Yeah. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Right. 
To avenge means to vindicate. Vindicate means to clear someone of blame or suspicion. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, she kept coming. He said, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, his own chosen, which cry day and night unto him? Though he bear long with them like he did with the disciples, why are you so fearful? Why is it that you have no faith? Even though he bear long with them, he said, how long must I suffer you? Uh But he said, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith? on the earth. Oh God. That's a sad commentary. Oh God. Out of all the blessings, oh out of all God. the things that he's oh done, Lord. when trouble come knocking at our door, oh Lord, dear. and we just think, oh Lord, oh Lord what shall I do? Uh-huh. All we have to do is remember what he did before. Oh yes, he will, if he did it before, he he'll it do it he will. again. He will. Yeah. He's that kind of yes, God. He is, yes, he is. St. Luke 17, 3. says, take heed to yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostle said, and I heard somebody preach on this, they said the, the, the apostle knew that was going to be hard to forgive somebody that yeah. just keeps doing keep on, the keep same on. thing over and over keep again. On. So in verse 5, and the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. Yeah. And the Lord said, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Okay? We know Abraham was a man of strong faith. Against hope, he believed in hope. And we want to be people of strong faith. Faith. Let's go to Hebrews 11, 1. I intend to start with that. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yes, sir. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You can't even be saved without faith because you got to believe that God is who he said he is. And Jesus went on to say in St. John 14, you believe in God, believe also in me. That's the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ, his son. There are a lot of people in religions that believe in God, but they don't believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, you cannot be born again unless you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. 2 Corinthians 13, 5. And this is putting some of the, the responsibility back on us. Where is your faith? 2 Corinthians 13, 5 says, examine yourself. Wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. That's the word, isn't it? Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Examine Wait. yourself. Wait. Holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Ooh. So the Apostle Paul is saying here, examine Look at yourselves, right. whether ye be in the faith. Right. A lot of people think they're in the faith and they're not. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. But examine yourself. Prove your own self. Prove your own self. Okay. Test yourself through the word. Yeah. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you. Christ is in us, the hope of glory. All right. Except ye be reprobates. Oh. A reprobate is a counterfeit. Uh -huh. They're disqualified. Mm -hmm. He told them, but I trust that ye shall know we are not reprobates. No, no. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, mm -hmm. though we be as reprobates. As. Some people might think you are, mm -hmm. but you got to know you're not. That's right. After you've examined yourself, mm -hmm. okay, you should be able to come to the conclusion, I'm not a reprobate. No, 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 no. For we can do nothing against the truth, right. but for the truth. You got to know, not be reckoning. You need to know you where know you stand sure. with the Lord. For sure. yes, sir. You got to know beyond a shadow oh, of a doubt. Sure. Let's right. go to Second Timothy. Don't be reckoning, mm. but you got to know. Know yes. your own self. Yes, sir. When that devil comes to you and say, I thought you were saved. Yeah. If you were saved, you wouldn't do this and you wouldn't do that. You got to know that you're for real. Yeah. You got to know that you've been born again. Oh, yeah. You got to know you have been washed mm. in the blood of the yes. Lamb. Oh, yes. Let's go to 2 Timothy 4. Mm. You know, at one point, the apostle Paul said he ain't arrived. Mm. You know, he wasn't ready then. Mm. Okay, but in 2 Timothy 4, verse 6. I'm not ready. I'm ready now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. He says, for I'm now ready yes. to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Bless the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. Prior to that, he was still oh, running yes. this race. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, he yes. ain't completed it yet. But now he knew the time of his departure was at hand. All right. He said, I have fought a good fight. Oh, I have finished my course. Yeah. He finished his race. And he said, I have kept the faith. All right. Keep the faith, saints of God. Well, got you, got he you, said, henceforth there is laid yes, up for yes, me yes. a crown of righteousness, yes, Lord. which Lord. the Lord, the yes, righteous yes. judge, shall give me yes. at that day. Yes. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. I thought about the crown that we're going to get. And I just believe it's going to be like in Revelation 4, 10 through 11, where the four and 20 elders, they cast their crowns. And yeah. said, Thou, O Lord, art worthy. Oh, yeah. I just believe we're not going to be strutting around in heaven with our big crowns. No. Talking about, I got more jewels than you got. Yeah. Ain't no pride going to be in heaven. Oh. There's a singing group they call Casting Crowns. Mm -hmm. I just like to imagine that's what we're going to do. Because in the light of His holiness, mm -hmm. we're going to realize. He alone is worthy. Yes, yes, and we will yes, cast those crowns yes. before him. Oh, yes. well, At the feet of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. But where is your faith? Where is you know, sometimes we need to do a self-examination. Yes, we Lord, really Jesus. do. Because yes, there is yes. a way yes, that yes. seems right unto a man. Like but the ends thereof are the ways yes, of death. So God, help us today. Oh, Romans 14, 21. 14, 21. Says, it is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. We've got to be careful we aren't a stumbling block. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. That's the word. 
That's the word of God. Without faith, we can't please God. So we must have faith in God. Almost right. done here. God is a good God. But where is your faith? Good. If you haven't started walking with the Lord yet, okay, you've got to have faith to believe that He, that God is. And you have to believe in His Son, Jesus. Romans 10 Verse 8 says, but what saith it? The word is not or near thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which yeah. we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. All right. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Okay. The same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. It's not hard to be saved. We've just got to be ready and only believe. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Right. And how shall they hear without a preacher? He do it. Yeah. Hallelujah to he his name. God. And how shall they preach except they be sent? All right. As it is written, right. how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? All right. So then faith cometh by hearing, yeah. and yeah. hearing by the word, by the word yeah. of God. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes our faith is weak yeah. because we're not in the word of God yeah. like we need to. We need our own private study time. We need to come to the services. We need to avail ourselves of the telephone conference call. And then we wonder why is our faith weak? Because you're not hearing the word of God like you need to. Hallelujah. So God is good and each of you determine where is your faith? Yeah. We want to be like that centurion and have great faith. Great faith. It might start off little, but if you keep hearing and hearing the word of God, your faith will increase. Will too. Oh, yes, yes it will. Yes, it will. And every time he brings us out of one thing, that should increase your faith for the next thing. Saints and people of God have faith in God. And don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. So we need to have our hearts fixed, our minds stable, stayed on the Lord. And he will keep us in perfect peace oh, yeah. if we keep our minds stayed on him. Yeah. If you keep looking out of these natural eyes at what's going on, oh, you're going to lose your faith. Oh, yeah. But we better keep our eyes on Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. God is good. I love you all. Now we're in the hands of Minister Morrell. And Minister Ray, I don't feel led to do our communion today. That's all right. God That's is good. Right. All right. Audience, we are so thankful that God has brought us over to 2023 with the word coming from the Ellis Tabernacle Original Church of God, 1916 Old Avenue, under the leadership of elect Lady Sarah Johnson. We are so grateful that you are viewing and leaving comments about the Word of God.
God is so good and he's worthy to be praised. We still have our conference call number, which is 667-770-1373. SS code is 274-487-POUND. We're there Tuesdays at 12 o'clock for our hour of prayer. Meeting God, meeting us there and granting our prayer requests. We're there Wednesdays at 6 o'clock for Bible study, learning a fresh new word from the Lord. And Friday nights, we're there with our prayer and worship service with different ones, bringing a word from the Lord at 6 o'clock. So if you're not busy, call in and listen, because there is something going on on the line that will do you some good. God bless you. Happy New Year until we view, you hear from us again. God bless.